We are um, isolated bands of people living in a struggle place. We thought that um, uh, no one from outside uh, cares about us and knows about us. But um, we we beginning to appreciate this relationship because of the what you know our coffee can do. The soil is rich. It's volcanic soil. The climate is perfect. The conditions are right. We don't need chemicals. PNG is by default organic. PNG coffee is exotic. It's, it's, um, it's something unique. It's something so different. They're all very curious about it. Coffee is, the, is, is a main income earner. It's got a readily available market, and we are the oldest in uh, PNG, and it's been 14 years we've been uh, working with uh, fair trade. The fair trade model is the model that, that looks at about fairness, about equality, about good governance, about environmental protection, about children's rights, about gen gender equality, about climate change. We, we do all of that. We're actually very proud to be, work, to be working with fair trade and to be working with communities and, and coffee farmers and, and drinking coffee. Running a business in this environment is difficult. You need to be able to have a team of people that can actually be able to understand the modern ways of doing things, the business relations, market access, commercial side of things, but also be able to balance it with the traditional ways of doing things. Ricky is tasked with making sure that there is harmony. We get all of that uh, wet fermenting bags down to the creek, we we'll wash it, and we carry them up and dry it on a bed that you can see it up there. That's organic, pure organic. The relationship between the uh, OWAC and the fair trade uh, it started some, uh, some years back. OWAC is a Islands Organic Agriculture Cooperative. We have uh, more than 2,600 farmers, farmers who are working under the OWAC. We have more of our youth, our younger generation, wanting to work in an office, don't want to touch that and, and work the land. And if we don't motivate and encourage uh, the younger generation to participate in coffee, think about a future. There is none. With Mitchell as, as a representation of third generation coffee farmer within Hawaii, and being an educated and, and smart person himself, we at Fairtrade are really truly keen to support him. I have coffee DNA in my veins now. Uh, quality is burdensome, it's a labor. It demands uh, effort put into bringing that quality. Quality starts when fruit is plucked off from the coffee tree. From here, once it is dried, it's packed into nylon bags of about 50 to 60 kg per bag. And then it's transported from here down to Goroka for processing into green bean. After it went through some quality checking again, then it's packed and exported out to Australia, New Zealand, Germany, USA, the whole world. Yes. Kappa. The services that we get from Hoek through Fairtrade Premium is we get water supply for the villages and communities, we get uh, roofing irons, we get uh, pulping machines, we get uh, coffee sauce, and 
for most is we get uh, classrooms for our kids. You can see that we've got a lot of kids now following us. These are the next generation of the next farmers to grow for feed. Anita and the work that she is doing is, if you like, a new dawn, a new movement. So bringing women to be respected and to be valued, it's a huge struggle. I see that uh, women have a lot of role in the coffee. They plant the coffee, harvest the coffee, they process everything with the coffee. I want that change in the lives of my farmers. That's why I, they see me that I can fight for their rights too when I, I am in the coffee business. The system basically used trade as a tool, making trade fair uh, to achieve a, a bigger dream, a bigger goal. And it is all about communities, about better living conditions, giving back to the farmers and putting them on the world map.